Conformity happens when people give in to real or imagined social pressure. Asher's 1955 study is probably the most well-known study looking at conformity. In that study, between seven and nine students were seated around a table in a classroom. They had been told that the study was about perception. Here's an illustration of the task given to participants. Their task was to look at a picture of a vertical line on one card and compare it to another picture of three vertical lines on another card. They had to say which of the three lines on the second card matched the target line on the first card. It's obvious that the second line is the one that matches the target. It's really not that difficult to tell. In fact, when tested individually, people made mistakes on this task less than 1% of the time. On this figure, the y-axis indicates the percentage of correct responses. The x-axis shows the 12 critical trials. We can see here that participants' accuracy is nearly 100% when tested individually, because they're pretty much always giving the correct response. Ash had set it up, though, so that only one of the people sitting at the table was a real participant. The rest were Confederates and working with the experimenter. The Confederates had been coached to sometimes give the correct answer, and sometimes give the incorrect answer. There were 18 pairs of cards shown to the group and the Confederates gave the incorrect answer for 12 of the pairs. The real participant was seated so that they heard everyone else's answers before giving their own answer. So what happened when participants were faced with the rest of the group giving the incorrect answer? Did they go along with the group or point out what the correct answer was? So in this figure, the green line shows those tested in a group. This gap between the blue and the green lines is our measure of conformity. It shows the increase in giving the incorrect response that the group suggested. So the correct response rates go down. It turns out that participants went along with the majority's incorrect answer 36.8% of the time, indicated here in the red. While just over three quarters of the participants conformed to the majority at least once, not everyone conformed to the same extent. About a quarter of the participants didn't agree with the majority when the majority was giving the wrong answer, while some participants almost always agreed with the majority. But those who chose to go along with the majority tended to do so consistently.